Booty Flare here. I'm out on location at the Old Court in Cyprus and I'm going to be tasting some ice cream today. How do you curate the flavors of ice cream? I would, well, besides the shops, okay, the, the, the company owns an ice cream factory, like a big ice cream factory. That's where the, the ice cream is made. So there's, in charge over there is my brother. His name is Zeno and he's like, the, he's a production manager. So we do kind of meetings and then we decide which flavors we want to introduce when, with what add-ins or flavors and stuff like that. So we do our testing, he does the testing, comes up with uh, some samples, we taste them. And then if it's good enough, I have to do the costing and if the costing is okay, then we proceed on and introduce the, the, the ice cream. Mm -hmm. Or granita, it's slush. Or we also make um, like a fat-free, sugar-free ice cream with stevia, and also a high-protein ice cream. So we'll have a, like a wide range of, uh, of products. Do you do any like dairy-free ice cream or anything? We also do dairy-free ice cream, sorbet mm -hmm. or sherbet, depending on how you want to call it. So, what is the process of making the ice cream? Process okay. Um, back at the factory, we daily receive uh, raw milk, unpasteurized raw milk, cow's milk, which goes into our holding tanks, and then um, it gets blended with uh, the rest of the material, like sugar, stabilizers, flavorings, fruit, nut, nuts, and all that gets homogenized, pasteurized, and then it goes through the aging vats, which is filled overnight, if I'm not mistaken. To, uh, to mature, as we are uh, calling it. And then it's fed into the ice cream machines. Do you get um, any like local ingredients or? Uh, most of the ingredients are sourced locally, except the ingredients we cannot source from Cyprus. So uh, the majority of the fresh fruit is from Cyprus. The milk obviously is from Cyprus. Our product is pretty simple. So if you get, if you get like the, the milk ice cream, it's maybe five to eight ingredients all together. So there's nothing weird or... Like know, artificial, everything's yeah, natural. Yeah, it's natural, yeah. yeah. Well, that's I mean, cool, you get the, everything, uh, the fruits from Cyprus. Yeah. Whatever we can source fresh. this year for this shop only it's like we make a um, how to describe it it's like a, a hot pocket which has a frozen ice cream in it. it's like a donut so we have a machine that actually you take a donut you cut it in half put your ice cream toppings sauces and then you close it and, it's, and it heat seals the donut so you're when you're eating it it's like hot and cold at the same time which is really interesting What's your favorite ice cream? Mine? Yes. <laughs> it's a uh, apricot sorbet. Apricot sorbet? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sorbet guy. I'm a really nice <laughs> milk guy. I like it, but I prefer sorbet. Yeah. I see. I just finished trying all the ice cream. Everything was so good. I feel like I have a bit of a sugar rush and I'm really full from tasting everything. I have to say one of my favorites was a sorbet. I just think it's just so refreshing. It goes perfectly with the weather here in Cyprus. If you guys are ever in Limassol, please check them out. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of these travel vlogs. I'm into Cape Fruity Flair. See you next time. This is what Cyprus looks like in October. It's almost 90 degrees. Everyone's by the pool or the beach or eating ice cream. It's just beautiful and it's like paradise here.